Welcome. Well, if you're new to the channel, my name's Andy. In uh, May of this year, I split with my ex and uh, looking for somewhere to live, I found an abandoned sailboat. I bought this for 400 euros. And when I found her, the engine was in bits and the sailboats were floating. I gave myself six weeks to get her back up and running. And since then, I've been living on board and gradually bringing this boat back to life. So if you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button and join me on the journey. I've just bought all of this chain. What I need to do now is alter the chain locker so that I can put a windlass on it. So first things first, cut out a hole, which is what I've started to do now. And once I've cut that out, then we can think about fiberglassing. Well, the weather's starting to draw in now, so I'm looking at uh, fitting my diesel heater. I'm thinking this is the right place, so I've screwed it to the base there, and I've run the exhaust pipe out through here, and uh, put the muffler on the other side, because that's about the most logical place I can do it. There's quite a gap between the top and the, the bottom of the uh, lazarette where the water drains out. So it's not going to get uh, rainwater on it, particularly because there's going to be a lid over the top of the uh, seat. Uh, what I'm going to do is run this wire under the bed. Um, and there is a space for that. And then I've also got to put a pipe on here and cut a hole in here. I've marked it there. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I've got a nice straight line through. And at some point, I want to put a cover on here uh, to uh, just finish it off, basically. So that's the plan. So uh, this cable here is obviously too short so that's going to need extending anyway and what I'm going to do is put it on the bulkhead over there uh, it works with the remote control anyway uh, I've used these before so it should be okay and then I'll show you what I've done outside as well so obviously this is not finished yet this will have a jubilee clip on it and be extended out like that and I'll uh, have to work out a way of being able to seal that. Uh, this panel here will go back in once I've finished but the idea will be that this which is the the diesel pipe will go in through the hole there and then along the back that way to the heater I've got to, get, got to get some more pipe but they only because they only supply this short piece so I'll take that in and get that. Then I've also found the pipe for the gas. So I'm going to get a gas bottle hit for here and I'm going to basically sort this out as well. Get, us, get that sorted. So hopefully by close of play today we should have working gas stove, working diesel heater, this I think will sit nicely here or even a bit further across here. Uh, I just didn't want it close to the uh, exhaust for obvious reasons so I'm thinking there and then you take the lid off to fill it. I think that works okay. Uh, I would have liked to put it sideways but the actual uh, can itself is too long to go in so it's this isn't deep enough but uh, yeah and the only time you're going to get this paddle off is to get into the uh, lazarette for any reason but I need to actually do that for the uh, dive platform because it's a bit loose so while I've got this paddle off I might have a go at that as well just see if I can work out how to tighten it up so but yeah, it's starting to rain for the first time in ages and uh, working through. You can see, put the anti-slip on the back, 
that's not looking too bad, I quite like that. Um, at the moment, we've still got a lot of anti-slip to do, and obviously with the rain I'm not going to be able to. But look at that at the front, that's looking quite nice. So, I've got to finish that off next. Uh, but I'll have to wait until it stops raining. Well, as you can see, it's turning winter now, the weather's turned definitely. So, there are some priorities that have to take precedence. Number one is the heater. So, the exhaust is here, which means it's going to get covered by this. So, it's hopefully going to be a bit more waterproof. The uh, diesel tank is going to mount here when I've got this backboard back on. But um, I thought I'd also fettle the gas while I was at it. And the gas pipe from the stern here to the cooker is blocked somewhere. Uh, so I'm running a new pipe and uh, I've just poked it through and attached it at this end. I've got to go inside now and uh, attach it at the other end and then clip it in place. Once I've done that, I can then put this back and uh, hopefully button everything back up. So I'll show you the, uh, the gas installation in a second. So this is where the pipe comes out and there is this tap right, which actually does work even though it's looking a bit worse for wear. So uh, that's the on off tap and then it's just connected to here. But this is blocked somewhere and it's all um, fiberglassed in really neatly. So uh, basically my plan is to run a new pipe and uh, I'll run it in the corner down there and through rather than through chasing it through here um, and it goes into there so I've got to basically route this and clip it safely uh, to route it through so that's the plan and then once I've done that we're all good um, the diesel heater you can just see it it's mounted in there uh, I've got to drill a hole so that this um, air pipe goes straight through rather than kink like that because I want to put that hatch back on at some point. But it doesn't have to live with some heat. It's really nice. So, yeah. And I've routed the control panel for the heater through to here. This is on the companionway steps. So it's out of the way, but uh, quite easily to see. So it's been a very, very, very busy time. Uh, a lot of it has been off camera just baited because I'm, I'm in a rush to get it done. Um, it, we, uh, all of the uh, cold weather has just hit at once and it was freezing. I needed to get the diesel heater in and um, having COVID didn't help at all. So um, just to recap on what we've done, anchor locker sorted windless sorted just need to tidy up the cables um, front cabin needs painting out that's another job but we'll sort that soon front hatch i need to sort a new handle for it and a new catch uh, at some point um, saloon i've got the headliners to sort, it's just literally now strips. Um, I've got to put wooden strips up here where the joints are to make it look a bit nicer. Don't know what I'm going to do about the windows yet with these uh, bolts, but I'm thinking maybe I'll uh, cut the bolts a bit shorter and then, uh, I don't know, answers on a postcard please. Uh, yeah, I've got the batteries charging nicely now that the solar's in, so I've got to permanently fit the solar at some point, but these are little jobs. I mean, the, the main thing is that it's now a livable boat, yeah, I've got water, I've got electric, I've got heating, I've got a stove that works, I've got sinks that work. So, um, yeah, it's comfy. What I've got to do is just keep it tidy. There's just so much crap all over the place. 
I've been limiting myself to one job at a time to try and um, minimise the amount of mess that I'll make. But uh, yeah, we'll get there. So uh, it's still wet and miserable. Uh, but I've got a big tidy up to do. But before I do that, I'm going to have my cup of coffee. Look at this. Soon. And it's just started to rain. We had torrential rain overnight with a boat other than a really irritating drip from the compass it is pretty much dry so uh, I've got a, uh, a little bit to do on one of the side windows uh, but I've got to sort that drip out from the compass because that is really annoying but uh, yeah isn't it pretty I love it here it really is look at that look at the view gorgeous well, as you can see, the weather has set in. So it's time to do some inside jobs. I just need to collect these tools. So um, I'm going to do something about this gap in the headliner. I've also got these LED lights that have turned up. I've already fitted four of them and uh, they look really good. Yeah, so while it's um, wet outside, once I've fitted these extra lights, I'm going to tackle the edges here because I don't think the actual headliner itself looks too bad. Um, I think that's that's actually all right once this, this is straightened up. So uh, we'll tackle this. I've got some wood for the middle and I've got these coving strips, two different sizes for the edges and I'm hoping I'll be able to actually fettle that and make that look half decent. Meantime, a cup of tea and then I'm going to wash up and tidy up this mess here. Looking a bit more like. At some point I want to do something about this galley top. Um, it's stained basically, I cannot get it any cleaner than this. So I think what I'm going to do is similar to what I did in the, um, in the head, I'm going to basically sand it down and prep it and then paint it but I think I might paint this white in here I don't know um, yeah I mean in the galley it's blue and that, that I think looks quite good but I'm not sure if here it would work uh, if I did I'd probably have to paint the doors white or something just to contrast but um, I think white would be okay why don't you let me know in the comments because I'm not going to be doing it for uh, a couple of weeks. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, in terms of the sinks, they're a little bit marked. Um, I could get new ones, I suppose, if I could source them. Um, this one here, I've got a washing up bowl in there because it's covering the fact that there's a couple of pinholes that I've um, filled with Sikaflex. Um, so that's not ideal but it's watertight now and it works. Uh, at some point I want to replace the water pipes and the taps because these taps, although they've cleaned up pretty well, the one in the bathroom is still very um, cruddy. So I was going to replace those and I thought while I did it I might as well fit um, a calorifier. I think you could just about fit one in there. And if I can, then that means that we've got hot water. I can't fit it in there. I could certainly fit it behind that bulkhead there, in where the um, where the diesel tank is. But that's where um, the holding tank should be. So I would have to look for another place for that. Um, yeah. Trouble is, it tracks in all of the dirt and with it raining I've got to have beggar's litter tray inside. I've usually got this outside 
So of course he's um, he's digging in there and it goes everywhere. So I've got to sort that. But um, yeah, getting there, getting there, slowly but surely. Bored now. Bored. Right here. <laughs> I don't know. By the time I got the camera out, he was bored. Never mind. I was going to grab a takeaway, but the rain is bucketing down now. So I'm going to um, sit here. And have it here. With a beer. Yes. Well, the lights look good, don't they? If I do that, nice and bright, brighter, and then a nice blue. Bright, brighter, brightest, and blue. And if I hold it, it goes off. And they're all independent, so there's three of them on each side. So, that's a good start. The kettle's on for another cup of tea, and then I'll put this trim on here. We need to just tidy up these corners a little bit with the heat gun just to get it right. Uh, I underestimated how much I would need. So this one is to do the other half. So yeah, and I probably need to get another one to do that hatch there. Well, I've got to say it actually looks a lot better with that trim on than the other side here which has got little gaping holes in it and what have you. So I think the trim's going to improve things. I'm going to paint the screw heads white. And the trim has got this like adhesive on the back of it that I've got to get off. So I've got to clean that off there. But um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. So now with this coving, Obviously it's designed for right angles and this is not a right angle. So if I just pop it up against there, you can see that uh, it's sort of, there's a lip. So I think what I'm going to have to do is cut that um, to get it to sit right. But um, it's, I think it's going to work. Um, we'll give it a try. Obviously these pieces are also too short. But I've got four of them. I think the, the smaller ones are going to be too small. If I put that up there, uh, yeah, it's a better fit, but um, it's not covering the screw holes properly. So uh, I might cut one of those down as well and just see see what it looks like. We'll, uh, we'll see where we go. Uh, and then what I've got left is the wood, which is down here, and that's for the, the middle piece. So, uh, yeah. So what I've done is I've trimmed it um, just to make it fit properly. So I've taken a, a chunk off the edge, and that, uh, that fits a lot better. So we're in the middle of a storm at the moment. Um, it's blowing us onto the quayside, but uh, I've put laser lines on there tight. So uh, we've had some really high winds come through. This is the bit of calm before the storm. And the uh, groaning you can hear is the passerelle um, rubbing against the side. But uh, we seem to be coping okay. Uh, sun's come out, which is great, but it has been absolutely tipping it down. And I think it's time for me to focus on some interior work. So what have I done so far? Um, I've put this trim up and it's not particularly pretty, particularly in the corners, but I've got this um, um, angle stuff. Uh, it was, it's basically the sort of box that you use for boxing and cables. And I've used the heat gun to bend it 
So this is for the little hatch over there. We've got another one to do um, just to finish that off. And then I've got these, which um, are uh, going to go here. This trim um, like that, just to hide all the screw holes. Basically, not easy to see, but yeah, that's the idea. So I'm going to fasten that in uh, temporarily. Um, I've got some wood stain. So I'm going to stain this uh, a darker colour, so the wood stain's sort of under there, uh, so I've got to deal with that. Um, poor old beggar is having to make do because I'm out of uh, cat litter, aren't I, Paul? Uh, so I've got to go and get some more cat litter. Um, maybe that's something I can do while the wind is uh, a little bit less. Um, once I've done this, and I've done that um, front... Uh, trim there then I've got these edges to finish off and uh, then I need to think about what I'm going to do about this and I'm thinking some more of this and just sort of maybe a thinner piece just across um, just to hide the hide the screws yeah top and bottom um, I don't know let me know. Let me know what you think. It's quite a blow last night. Uh, it's chatting direction. Keyside. Really don't want to be touching that concrete. So I have moved the bolt out. Made use of the lazy lines to bolt. But Mother Nature has reminded me just how powerful she is. Um, I have to grind it back. Basically, take the gel cut off all the way around here, uh, all the way around here, um, epoxy it in, and then fiberglass. It's going to be ruining my beautiful anti slip, but um, it needs to be done because this needs to be a permanent installation. I'm just stuck in. Because when, uh, when it blows, there's uh, a lot of weight being put on this. And yes, I know I'm going to have snubbers on. Uh, I get a snub, I mean, I get a snubbing line attached it to on the cleats, to bridle across. I know this. But, um, you know, if that line breaks, then I'm relying on the wind windlass. So I'm going to fiberglass all this in. I need to wait until I get some dry weather to do that. I put this stainless steel strip across. I'm going to put the hinges in uh, to reinforce it as well. And uh, basically just try and make this joint into not a joint. So so it's useful to have friends with a reference boat. This is another Benetel first. And they've altered the chain locker exactly how I'm doing. Been up and had a look. And basically what they've done is they've fiberglassed underneath to bond it and uh, so that's given me ideas in terms of what I need to do. Um, I still think I'm going to take it off and, uh, and grind away the gel coat on the uh, groove. I'm going to fill in the groove as well uh, but it's given me the ideas now so uh, yeah I'm happy with that. Uh, I just need to get some dry weather. Well that's it for another week folks. Uh, join us next week when we start finishing off the trim and the interior of the boat. Uh, we take some time off to go out with friends making goulash and have a, a great afternoon and evening, um, which got rather boozy, I have to admit. And uh, we start doing some other jobs, so things like anti-slip paint on the decks. And um, as usual, beggar is demanding food with menaces. 20 minutes after being fed, he's forgotten all about it. So if you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notify, that's free, so you get notified of new videos. And um, if you want to support the channel, then why not hop over to Kofi, uh, buy us a coffee, or um, have a look at our merchandise on our uh, Spreadshop um, merchandise store. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see you all again next week.